All right, Lane, today we're going to look at something that everybody likes about science class, and that's making fires. Now, if we're going to have a fire, there's some things that a fire needs. Um, first of all, a fire needs heat. All right, and that's going to come from your lighter there. You're going to be the heat source for our fires. Now, we also need a type of fuel. We need something to burn. So what's our fuel going to be for this? Alcohol. Alcohol. And we're going to go ahead and pour a little bit in this beaker, or not beaker rather, but our evaporating dish here. It's a small amount. And Lane, I'm going to have you give us a source of heat there, and let's see what happens. All right. So once we have our heat, our fuel is burning. But there's one other thing that this fire needs to keep burning. Something that we can't see, but it has to have. You have any, have any idea what that is? Oxygen. Oxygen. And where's the fire getting its oxygen from, Lane? Right? The air. All right, all the air around us. It's got oxygen in the air. Now, this air is not made up entirely of oxygen, but a portion of the air is, and that's enough that we can fuel this fire to keep it burning. Because what I want to look at, we're going to look at changing that oxygen a little bit. Right now, we know it's always getting oxygen. There's oxygen in the air. But this time, we're going to give our fire a limited amount of oxygen. Do that. Now I'm going to put some water here and you'll see why in just a minute. We need it to make a nice seal because we're actually going to put a cap over our fire as it burns. And I want you to just kind of watch what happens here when our, when our fire can't get that oxygen from the air anymore. So once we put this over, it's going to cut off the oxygen supply. What do you think is going to happen to our fire? It's going to go out. Okay. Find out. Okay, happened pretty quickly. And also because it was burning up some of that oxygen that was in there, it also pulled in water to, to take its place. But fire didn't really last long after that. Okay, for the next part, we're going to change the variable a little bit. We saw what happens when we have a normal amount of oxygen. We saw what happens when we take the oxygen away. This time we're going to look at what happens if we give this fire lots of extra oxygen. But before we do it with the fire, I just want to kind of let you see the reaction here. We're using a couple chemicals. We're using just regular hydrogen peroxide like you get from the drugstore. But then we're using a chemical called potassium or manganate. So what we're going to do, I'm going to have you put on some uh, safety goggles here. Might get a little bit splashing out, and that's okay if we do. But I'm just going to add a little scoop of this potassium permanganate into our peroxide and just let you kind of see the reaction that's taking place. So what you see when we put that in there, you see smoke coming out, right? But obviously it's not smoke from a fire or anything. That smoke that you see is oxygen gas being released by the peroxide. So if we have lots of, lots of oxygen in the air, do you think it's going to help the fire to burn better? Yes. Okay. So now we're going to try it out. We're actually going to try it with our fire. But I'm going to put our peroxide in first. Now the peroxide and the alcohol are going to kind of mix when we put these together. It's going to dilute it a little bit. So you may find it's actually a little bit harder to light. But that's okay. I'm going to let you go ahead and that counter here. I'm going to let you go ahead and light that for me, Lane. Okay, we've got it burning now. And you just want to kind of stand back a little bit for this because we might get a little bit popping out, you might see. We're going to add a little bit of our makes a big difference in our fire, doesn't it? And that's the thing to always remember. Anytime we have a fire, it has to have those three things. We have our alcohol that's our fuel. Sometimes you might use a piece of wood. You might use other things for fuel for your fire. But you've got to have some type of fuel, something that's going to be burning. You need that source of heat. And you need that all-important oxygen.